So the purpose of making these rolls was to pass off some savings to you guys. You're going to save about 10% on the overall price. Now, unlike some uh, bundle systems like this, we did not raise the price of all the individual items. I stand by the prices on my website. I have some of the lowest prices for all of the products that you see. I always keep my stuff at the map, which is the minimum advertised price possible. And so in bundling these kits together, I've heavily discounted the roll, which is my own product in order to bring you a discounted rate. I'll post links to all these on the website. The first bundle, the camper, is more geared towards people who are recreational campers, you know, weekend warriors type thing. This woodsman bundle is geared towards somebody who maybe likes to go further in to the backcountry, so you get a few more tools in there. And of course, the orange rescue bundle is what I'm going to be talking about today. Now, there are two more bundles that I'm going to talk about in the future, and that's the tactical bundle and the ultimate bundle. So stay tuned for those. They should be available sometime in August. And I should also clarify that you can buy all of these items individually. You don't need to buy the whole bundle. That's just a new thing we're offering people who want to get more stuff at a discounted rate. Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today I'm going to share with you the contents of the emergency bug out roll. The purpose of this is to be high vis. It's to be accessible, utilized by anybody. This bundle is not meant for a Navy SEAL type. It's not an All-American Prepper approved product, but it is going to be incredibly practical in the field because it's going to be darn near impossible for you to lose any of the contents because they're all high-vis orange. All of the contents of this kit are very high quality products that if bought separate would cost you a lot more as well. So that's something to keep in mind. And it's important also to keep in mind that many of the emergency kits that you see on the market today, they throw in the cheapest quality materials they can get and then they drastically mark up the price and they put it in some flashy looking system. You know, it might be a compartmentalized system, but the reality is the stuff in there is complete crap. Is it going to work? for a limited one and done use, absolutely it's gonna work. You can go buy yourself a $150 throwaway bug out bag, which is just going to have the bare bones of what you need. The point of this kit is that all the contents within it, you're gonna be able to use over and over again. Many times, in some cases, some of these things are gonna last you for years, like the firebox, five inch stove, I just used it, which is why there's a bit of condensation there. So it was still kind of warm when I put it back in there, but uh, that's gonna last you probably five, 10 years if you take care of it. It's an excellent stove. This in itself is a hundred dollar stove. So that's something to keep in mind. Also, we have a Mora bushcraft knife. We have a variety of different survival outdoors longer implements like emergency blankets, emergency bivvies, reflective tape, gear aid, repair materials, stuff like that. Uh, we have a mag striker fire starting tool. So that's a ferrocium rod with a magnesium striker on it. We also have a GSI flask, which is of course a high vis rubberized flask. There's an ultralight uh, adventure medical kits, 0.9 medical kit. So it's got a significant amount of stuff in there for you to use. We also have the MOVE water filtration system, which filters things down to, I believe it's 0.1 microns. Uh, it uses a nanolum technology, same thing used by astronauts, and it's gonna filter out everything, viruses, chemicals, bacteria, you name it. There's Ben's Deets wipes, because if you're in the sticks, bugs are gonna be a problem. And the reason why we opted for the wipes is because this vinyl, even though it's a very heavy gauge, cold crack resistant, uh, ultraviolet resistant and flame retardant material, very heavy duty stuff, stronger than most of the stuff used on boat windows. It still is easily corroded by the chemical that is used in bug spray. And if you were to go and spray bug spray on your vinyl siding, you'll see what I mean. It's going to leave a, a stain that you're never going to be able to get off. It's going to eat at it. And uh, it's just how it is. There's something in the chemical uh, makeup of DEET, which erodes vinyl. Also, you get a signal mirror, you get an ultimate survival technologies lensatic compass, you get a right in the rain notepad, which is waterproof 
paper basically. You get a Soul Rescue Howler whistles, which are 120 decibels. You also get a Quick Clot, which should probably be in the first aid section, but you're gonna organize this how you want. So you get a Quick Clot clotting sponge. So that's gonna be for your major, major injuries where a person is losing a lot of blood and you need to clot that blood fast. Uh, like I said, emergency poncho, emergency bivy, a sport utility blanket. So this is basically your shelter. It's your tarp with the Titan survivor cord. Of course, there's fishing line within there. There is uh, fire starting material within the cordage. There's also snare wire within the cordage. Within the bushcraft knife, you get a, there's a sharpener on there. There's another way to start fire, another ferrocium rod and the Mora knife. So Mora knives are renowned for their quality, but affordability at the same time. Gear aid repair kit. And that's not all, as they say on TV infomercials. You're also gonna get a 230 gram canister of bear spray, ultimate uh, fire tinder by Production Hangar 51. You're going to get probably one of the most essential tools in the kit for long-term survival, the Silky Nada, one of the best hatchets out there on the market, in my opinion. And these things are just built insanely durable. It's my favorite wilderness tool. It's always on my side. The only reason why it's not on my side today, because I forgot it at home. Fortunately, we can't get those in high vig orange just yet. You're also going to get a Army Tech flashlight. This isn't the flashlight you're gonna receive. Uh, the one you're gonna get is actually a little bit better than this, but uh, I just have that in there as a placeholder. You're also going to get a Silky Big Boy 2000 saw, an extra blade for that saw, so this blade is a little bit different than this one. This is a curved blade with large teeth. So the curvature is gonna add for faster cutting. This is a general purpose blade, so you can use it on pretty much any kind of wood out there. Uh, this has smaller teeth, or medium teeth, I should say. So it has 8.5 teeth per inch, and it's gonna be better for hardwoods, but it's not curved. So it's not quite as user-friendly you're gonna to have to be in there kind of maneuvering with the saw as opposed to this one, you just run it across and it, it grinds it out. But uh, can't go wrong with having an extra blade in there as well. So all of these tools, like I said, are meant for long-term use. Now the price for this bundle and the one bundle above it, there's gonna be five bundles in total. This is the second highest price one. One thing I wanna talk about before that, my friend over at Dropboard Survival made a video recently where he compared a, I think it was a $50 bug out bag to a $5,000 bug out bag. And a common mistake that people make when they go on these videos and they see people with all this fancy gear is you forget that it was a process in order to get that gear. Imagine if you were to go into your garage or your house and you know have everything in your house appraised at once. Maybe you got like ten, twenty thousand dollars worth of stuff right there. Well, if you were to have to buy all that stuff at once, you would be pretty taken back by the price point. I imagine. I imagine it'd be very expensive, and you probably wouldn't be able to afford it. But what usually is the case with most gear reviewers like myself, our kits were built up over time. So you're looking at it like my bug out bag probably has about two thousand dollars worth of stuff in it. Probably more than that, actually. Probably around three the $4,000 if I really put all the high-end stuff in there. And I could easily stretch that higher if I wanted to, but then of course it gets cumbersome to carry. But I'm not saying that to brag, I'm just saying that has taken me seven years to build. So seven years of prepping, that's 84 months. You spread that price across that 84 months and you know it's like what, 50 bucks a month or something like that that I've spent and invested on this stuff. So that's what you have to take into consideration if you're buying one of these premium rolls and i don't expect to sell many of these because it's going to be out of a lot of people's price range but if you're somebody who wants a pre-made kit that has absolutely all your bases covered with everything pretty much the only thing you don't have is a pot everything else you're going to have in this kit for an emergency situation either short term or prolonged with the exception of of course 
food and water. Those are things that you're gonna have to get on your own. Now you do have the water purification system, but you're not going to have actual water, emergency drinking water. A lot of companies will throw that stuff in there, those emergency drinking water packets as filler. And yes, they're useful, but a lot of people, they still sit in their closet. You have a water heater full of water. You can fill up your bathtub. There's a lot of things you can do, okay? Uh, in the case of emergency, if you're living in an urban environment to get water, to get more water than could be contained in those emergency drinking packets. So I'm going to post the price of this roll on the screen here and bear in mind that you're paying for the roll itself which retails right now for $189.99 made of the highest quality materials. Other feature is the Velcro feature. So these compartments do disassemble. The Velcro is industrial strength so it's going to hold as much weight as you can pull in here. It's going to be very hard to strain this Velcro and I don't expect people to use that feature too often, but you know, it's there in case you want to use it. And everything about this roll is built heavy duty. I've talked about it, it's 600 denier Cordura fabric. To give you an understanding of how cost effective the roll actually is, this firebox case, this little firebox case right here, it's just a little piece of Cordura, retails for $20 American, I think. So consider that, that that one little piece of fabric retails for $20. That's not including the vinyl, not including these super heavy duty, high speed zippers. Um, you know, everything about this, the buckles are, we get these buckles from a place in the U US that makes them very heavy duty buckles. And everything about it is, is built rock solid. So you're also got to factor that into the price. Of course, that's what we're discounting when we sell you the bundle, we have to stick to our minimum advertised price for the rest of the products, but we're giving you a discount on the roll. And uh, so you are paying significantly less and it saves you from having to go and buy all these things from different companies. And you don't have to keep the roll like this. You can take this stuff out, you can organize it, customize it the way you want. That's why I don't put patches or labels on it. You can do that if you want. You can have stickers made and put them on here and if you want to do that. But for me, transparency is everything. So you don't need the patch. Most people put patches on compartments because they're used to non-transparent where you can't actually see what's inside. So that's, you really don't need to do that with this because everything's there. It's all at eye level. Your base camp is entirely organized. How you roll this up is quite simple. This in itself too can also be used as a signaling device. It's going to be very highly visible if a search and rescue team is looking for you. It's a little hard to do this off the ground. There's a five stage locking system and if you wanted to you could cram a lot more stuff in here. And one thing to keep in mind also is that a lot of the stuff in this roll for demo purposes are still in their packaging. So there's actually a lot more space left in this roll than I demo here. So now I just have to do these other flaps. So when the bug out roll is fully packed up, it's totally secure. You don't have to worry about your stuff falling out. It's quite water resistant because within the uh, 600 denier Cordura fabric, there's also a PVC coating that adds water resistance. So really strong, durable stuff. So yeah, hope that was informative. If you want to get yourself an emergency bug out roll, go through the link in the description. Thanks for watching Canadian Prepper Out.